Um, welcome to Batting with Hershey and um, as you've seen before we're very fortunate to have Simon with us. Um, I was lucky enough to come across him as a young player and then seeing him develop in his life and, um, and his, um, his organisation with the mind has been a great help to a few people he's already talked with and we hope that we can help our players. So over to you Simon. Yes, well, look, uh, thanks again for the wise and learned Yoda. First of all, let's just uh, cue everybody in on why he's called the Yoda. Look, he, he, looks, he looks round and short because he's so bloody wide. Yeah, he walks with a limp. He's got profound wisdom in the ways of batting. He speaks in riddles. Tell me he's not the Yoda. Call him Yoda. This is batting with Yoda. So having said that, I just want to introduce the notion of how important it is as to how you feel yeah how you feel people don't talk much about how you feel but what else is life other than a collection of experiences and how you feel about experiences most people in the west are so busy chasing stuff and they discover after they get stuff that it doesn't make them as happy as they think but in terms of performance why is feeling so important because if i was to do a diagram i'd say here's the feeling yeah how you feel colours all your actions. How you feel colours all your interactions. Your actions dictate your outcomes, yeah? So in a, in a big way, how you feel determines your outcomes. And you know this yourself, when you're bowling, when you're batting, how you get up to play, how you feel that day determines how, how you act, how you play, yeah, which determines your outcomes. And then funnily enough, your outcomes feedback to the elements that create your feelings. Most people just think that feelings fall out of the sky. You know, I, I've been attacked by feeling shit house today. You know, but in fact, there's two things that create how you feel. And once you understand this, you can start to manufacture and control how you feel every day when you're going to perform. It's critical. So the two things that you need to understand that create feelings are beliefs and thoughts. So this formula is simple. Beliefs and thoughts create how you feel. How you feel colours and creates how you act and how you behave. And how you behave and how you act creates your outcomes. And then your outcomes actually loop back yeah, into your beliefs and your thoughts. So it's very, very simple, but I think this is a powerful formula and mechanism to understand that you're actually in control of how you feel. You're actually un in control of the day you create and the actions you undertake and the outcomes that you get. And a simple man, so what are you saying about a batsman? Hey, I'm saying uh, for a batsman, yeah. it's in your power to feel the way you should yeah. and create the state that you need to be in before you bat yeah. in order that you can get the best out of yourself. Right. Simple as that. So that's it for today. Right. We'll talk down the track about beliefs and thoughts in greater detail. Right. Thanks, Simon. Call him Yoda. Yoda. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks. From Yoda.